saw modest gains on Tuesday with Dow reaching a record high close. The S&P 500 and Nasdaq also edged up ahead of Nvidia's much anticipated quarterly earnings report. Nvidia, a major player in AI technology, was the most traded stock with its shares rising 1.5% on the day, up nearly 160% in 2024 alone. U.S. stocks eked out gains on Tuesday ahead of a much-anticipated quarterly report from AI chip leader NVIDIA. The Dow nudged up to notch another record-high close, while the S&P 500 and Nasdaq both rose marginally. NVIDIA was the most traded company on U.S. stock exchanges on Tuesday, according to LSEG data. Shares of the AI darling climbed another 1.5%, marking a nearly 160 percent rise in 2024. George Cipollone, portfolio manager at Penn Mutual Asset Management, is among those who will be parsing NVIDIA's earnings report on Wednesday. What mark the market is looking for tomorrow is roughly a doubling of sales, which, again, they've delivered quarter after quarter of really strong sales growth, and then roughly a 140 percent increase in EPS. I do think NVIDIA has a very good chance of hitting those numbers. I think the biggest point is going to be future growth or outlook for growth and then how the market takes it because expectations have been pretty high. And even since that recent bout of volatility, NVIDIA bounced back about 20 percent. So we can't say expectations are low heading into this report. Overall, mega cap stocks ended mixed with Alphabet, Amazon and Tesla losing ground. Among other movers, Super microcomputer dropped more than 2.5 percent after short seller Hindenburg Research said it had a short position in the AI server maker. And shares of Paramount Global slid more than 7 percent after Edgar Bronfman Jr. abandoned his bid for the company, clearing the way for Skydance Media to take control of Sherry Redstone's media empire. Data on Tuesday showed U.S. consumer confidence rose to a six-month high in August, despite some jitters about the unemployment rate, which jumped to a near three-year high of 4.3 percent last month.